Hi I am Anna. Today we are going to set up single sign on for Zoom using WordPress as the identity provider. First sign in to your Zoom account as admin. Scroll down and click on the advanced drop down and select single sign on. Click on enable single sign on. We will need the endpoints from the WordPress IDP plugin for configuration. Log in to your WordPress admin dashboard and go to the WordPress IDP plugin. Click on the IDP metadata tab. Copy the SAML login URL and paste it into the sign in page URL. Download the certificate. Open it in Notepad, copy the content and paste it into the Identity Provider Certificate. Select the Service Provider Entity ID in the drop down. To provide IDP Entity ID, switch to the WordPress IDP Metadata tab. Copy the IDP Entity ID and paste it. Select Binding as HTTP Redirect. Select Signature Hash Algorithm as SHA-256. Under Security, enable Save SAML Response Logs on User Sign-In. Click Save Changes to save your configuration. Select Yes for the confirmation message. You have successfully configured Zoom as the service provider. Configure WordPress as Identity Provider. In the WordPress IDP plugin, navigate to the Service Provider tab and enter the values corresponding to the information from Zoom. Type Service Provider name as Zoom. Then switch to Zoom SAML tab, copy SP Entity ID. Go back to the WordPress IDP plugin and paste this value in the SP Entity ID field. Similarly, enter the ACS URL as shown. Select Use HTTP Redirect Binding for SLO. Scroll down select Name ID Format as the email address. Enable Assertion Signed option. Click on the Save button to save your configuration. Attribute Mapping this is a premium feature. In the WordPress IDP plugin, navigate to the Attribute Role Mapping tab. Select SP as Zoom. You can also add more attributes by clicking on plus sign to add attributes. In the User Attributes section, under the Name column type as User Email. Then under the User Metadata column click on the drop-down list and select the corresponding attribute. Type the attribute name as the first name. Then under the User Metadata column select the corresponding attribute. Type the attribute name as the last name. Then under the User Metadata column select the corresponding attribute. Type the attribute name as the display name. Then under the user metadata column select the corresponding attribute. Now click on the save button. Your setting saved successfully. Now switch to Zoom dashboard and navigate to SAML response mapping. Email address. Enter user underscore email as SAML attribute. Click on Save Changes. For first name, enter first underscore name as SAML attribute. Select Update at each SSO login and click on Save Changes. For last name, enter the last underscore name as the SAML attribute. Select Update at each SSO login and click on Save Changes. For the display name, enter the display underscore name as the SAML attribute. Select Update at each SSO login and click on Save Changes. Open a new incognito window and go to your Zoom Vanity URL. 
click on sign in, you will be redirected to your WordPress site for authentication. Enter your WordPress credentials and click on login. Upon successful authentication, you will be logged into your Zoom account. Congratulations you have successfully configured Zoom, Sam L single sign on with WordPress using the WordPress IDP plugin. Check out WordPress IDP plugins for premium features like, attribute mapping, role mapping, etc., single logout, custom login page, many more, thank you for watching this video.